everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this lacy chevron design, this peephole chevron design. And this is an easy chevron pattern. Uh, it's uh, fairly straightforward. There's no complicated stitches or anything like that. It's a very lacy, uh, lightweight chevron design if you're looking for something to make a lighter weight uh, garment or blanket. Uh, it's just really simple and very pretty as well. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook along as well as um, some of this Karen Times Pantone yarn. If uh, you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and uh, this channel is updated weekly. So today for our chevron design, we're going to start by making a slip knot and then we're going to work a foundation chain with a multiple of 10 stitches plus 2. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22 stitches. Ten. Nineteen and twenty, and then two more. Once you have your foundation chain, that is a multiple of ten plus two. You're going to start by skipping the first two chains, which counts as your double crochet stitch, and you're going to work a double crochet into each of the next four chain stitches. So one double crochet in each of the next four. There's two, three, and four. And then you're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and double crochet into the next four chains. So skip the next two chains and then double crochet into the next four. And that's going to form our uh, downward peak there. Next you're going to chain two and double crochet into each of the ne next four chains. So one double crochet into each of the next four. Skip the next two chains and then double crochet into the final four chains. And to finish off this row, you're going to work one final double crochet stitch into that last chain. So that last chain is going to have two double crochet stitches. So you have a total of five and you can see that your chevron is starting to appear there. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Once again, you're going to want two double crochets into that first stitch. So you're going to work one more double crochet into the first stitch. Your chain three counts as a stitch. Then you're going to work one uh, double crochet stitch into each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and work one double crochet into each of the next three.
and then one more double crochet into that chain two. Chain two, work a double crochet into the chain two space, and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. We're now uh, starting our repeat, so skip two, and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches, a double crochet into the top of your chain three, and then one more. So two double crochets into the top of that chain three. And that brings you to the end of your row two. So we'll step back and just take a quick look here at it. So if you look, uh, your two uh, your two sides, you're always going to have the five double crochets onto your two sides. You skip two, and then you have four double crochet stitches. Chain two, four double crochet stitches. So that is going to be uh, essentially all there is to this pattern. So the pattern is a one row repeat. So you're going to chain three, turn your work, double crochet into that first stitch, work three more double crochet stitches, one in each of the next three, skip two, double crochet in each of the next three, double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, double crochet in the chain two space, and repeat. Double crochet in each of the next three, Skip two, double crochet in each of the next three, and then because I'm at my end, I'm going to work two into my final chain three. So this pattern is a one row repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way through. This chevron design is nice because there are uh, no times when you're working like double crochet two togethers. It's just all straight double crochets and chain stitches. So that's all there is to working this easy people chevron design. Thank you so much for joining me and until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye.